There are many myths and stories floating around the creation of pearls. Some believe pearls to be the tears of gods. Other thought them as the dew drops filled with moonlight that fell into the ocean and were swallowed by oysters. But have you ever wondered how are the pearls formed? Oysters are bivalves, which means that its shell is made of two parts or valves, which are held together by an elastic ligament. An organ known as mantle covers and protects the internal organs of oyster. The formation of a natural pearl begins when a foreign substance like food particle or parasite slips into the oyster between the shell and mantle. The animal senses the foreign object and starts to deposit layers of calcium carbonate in the form of mineral aragonite or many times as a mixture of aragonite and calcite. Between each layer, the mollusk secretes a very thin layer of protein conchyolin. The combination of aragonite and conchyolin is called nacre, which is also known as the mother of pearl. It is the same substance that the oyster uses to build its shell. The mollusk continues to deposit layer upon layer of nacre to cover the foreign substance. And after few years, you get the beautiful and shining pearl. The pearls formed by natural process are really hard to find. For every 10,000 oysters in the sea, you can find only one oyster that contains pearl. Moreover, most wild, natural pearl producing oyster beads have vanished due to overfishing, oil drilling and pollution. That is why most of the pearl in market comes from the farming of oyster. Cultured pearls are created by the same process as the natural pearls. To create a cultured pearl, the harvester opens the oyster shell and cuts a small slit in the mental tissue. Then small irritants are inserted under the mantle. The molest deposits the nacre and in few months you get the cultured pearl. While cultured and natural pearls are considered to be of equal quality, cultured pearls are generally less expensive because they are not as rare. Moreover, most pearls that we see in jewelry stores are nicely rounded objects. Some pearls form in an uneven shape. These are called Baroque pearls. Pearls come in a variety of colors, and the color of pearl depends upon the breed of molars. Other influences include diet, water temperature, and pollutants, etc. Most pearls can be found all over the world, but the black pearls are indigenous to South Pacific. So this is the whole story behind the pearls. Next time when someone mentioned pearl, be sure to tell them the whole story behind it. Feeling curious about something? Ask in the comments. And for more such videos, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon.